I'm Rudave from Swirl Music and today we're going to be exploring our head voice. Our voice mainly has two registers in which we sing. The chest voice, which is where we speak, and the head voice, which not a lot of people speak in, but it adds a beautiful color to your song. We have already studied about and found our chest voice in a different lesson and today we are going to discover our head voice. There are a few different ways in which you can find your head voice. If you start singing really powerfully in your chest voice and slowly slide upward, you will notice a break in your voice at some point. This is where your head voice begins. Another method used is to hoot like an owl. Hoo, 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 hoo. This is your head voice. Essentially, there's no upper limit to your head voice, but at some point you would break into your falsetto and even higher than that would be your whistle register. As we have learned in our lesson on chest voice, Female voices tend to break around A4 to C5 and male voices around D4 to F4. And this is where you transition from your chest voice to your head voice. Your chest voice can generally be felt as a buzzing sensation in your chest cavity. But your head voice can resonate in different parts of your head, like your nasal cavity or even at the back of your head. Note that these spots of resonance can change from time to time. And we can also control where we want it to resonate depending on the kind of sound we want to produce. Also, these vibrations felt are much weaker than those of the chest voice. The tone of your head voice is also comparatively thinner than that of your chest voice. And when it is used properly, it can bring out a lot of emotion and color and can sound beautiful in a song. 